Marx also thought that what would happen inevitably as a consequence of capitalism is the rich would get richer and the poor would get poorer. So there would be inequality. The first thing I'd like to say is we do not know how to set up a human system of economics without inequality. No one has ever managed it, including the communists. And the form of in inequality changed, and it's not obvious by any stretch of imagination that the free market economies of the West have more inequality than the less free economies in the rest of the world. And the one thing you can say about capitalism is that although it produces inequality, which it absolutely does, it also produces wealth, and all the other systems don't. They just produce inequality. <laughs> Here's, here's a few stats. Here's a few free market stats, okay? Um, from 1800 to 2017, income growth adjusted for inflation grew by 40 times by, for production workers and 16 times for unskilled labor. Um, well, GDP, fact, GDP rose by a factor of about 0.5 from 1 AD to 1800. So from 1 AD to 1800 AD, it was like nothing, flat. And then all of a sudden, in the last... 217 years, there's been this unbelievably upward movement of wealth. And it doesn't only characterize the tiny percentage of people at the top who, admittedly, do have most of the wealth. The question is, not only though, what's the inequality? The question is, well, what's happening to the absolutely poor at the bottom? And the answer to that is, they're getting richer faster now than they ever have in the history of the world. And we're eradicating poverty <laughs> in countries that have adopted moderate free market policies at a rate that's unparalleled. So here's an example. The UN millennial, one of the UN millennial goals to, was to reduce the, the rate of absolute poverty in the world by 50% between 2000 and 2015. And they defined that as $1.90 a day. Pretty low, you know, uh, but you have to start somewhere. Um, we, be, we, we hit that at 2012, three years ahead of schedule. And you might be cynical about that and say, well, it's kind of an arbitrary number, but the curves are exactly the same at $3.80 .80 a day and $7.60 a day. Not as many people have hit that, but the rate of increase towards that is the same. The bloody UN thinks that we'll be out of poverty defined by $1.90 a day by the year 2030. It's unparalleled. And so... So the, so the rich may be getting richer, but the poor are getting richer too. And that's, that's not the... Look, I'll leave it at that.